So, welcome back my wonderful YouTube family. Welcome back to the Project Box. Today we have a special treat for you. The kind people at Sonoff have sent me some little gadgets to look at. This is the brand new Sonoff Mini R4 Extreme. Look at it, it's tiny, it's so cute. In actual fact, it's a lot smaller than the Sonoff Mini R3 and R2. But, um, you still require a neutral connection for this version to work. But they do do a no neutral version, a Zigbee one, um, that doesn't require a neutral connection, but you need a um, son of Zigbee hub or a Zigbee hub of sorts to make it work. Um, so this connects to the Wi Fi and this connects to here via Zigbee. But I want to show you how you can still use the um, son of Mini the Son of Mini R4 that requires a, a neutral connection to, to work. Especially in the UK, it's still possible to connect this uh, to a lighting circuit even if there's no neutral connection behind the light switch. And this is simple because um, in the UK it's very common to use a three-plate loop-in system where the live and neutral loops across at all the light fixtures. And this is great because it means that you can still use this in the UK even though you don't have a neutral connection behind your light switch necessarily. They just go up by the light fixture itself. And I'll show you how to wire this. And another peculiarity about the UK is that the way they wire two and three way lighting means that this is also possible to do very easily. Um, because I've had questions in the comments before how do you connect this to two or three way lighting. And uh, you'll see it's actually very simple. So here we have a common configuration of a typical British uh, three-way lighting circuit. The way you'd find it in a, a British home over in the United Kingdom. And um, I'll show you how easy it is to connect your Sonoff Mini R4 um, in, on, on the circuit like this. Now this is... Um, I must warn you that this is only applicable to the United Kingdom because I don't think this is very common in Europe to have it wired like this or anywhere else in the world. Uh, leave, a, leave a message in the comments if you've seen it somewhere else, but I've only seen this in the United Kingdom. Now, of course, um, you need a neutral to connect your son of Mini behind the light switch. Um, now, in England or um, in the United Kingdom, it's not very common to have a neutral connection behind your light switch. But we have this uh, loop-in junction box system where the live and neutral comes from the fuse board, loops us into this junction box and then goes across to your next light fixture. So you have everything you need behind this little ceiling rose uh, junction box to connect your Sonoff Mini. And uh, so yeah, it's more than just a, a pendant to hang your light fixture. It's actually a junction box. So inside this little junction box we have a common live and a common neutral terminal. This is where we'll pick up the live and neutral supply to power our Sonoff Mini. Then we take out the switch live from its terminal block and pop it into the S2 terminal on the Sonoff Mini. And then finally we take the live output from the Sonoff Mini and connect it to the terminal block that connects to the light bulb. Now it might help to take a screenshot so you have a copy of the diagram. So what we'll do is uh, we'll open that up and I'll show you how to connect it up. Here we have live and neutral coming in from our fuse board and then looping back out to the next uh, ceiling rows like this one. So we can connect this little bad boy to these terminals here. Everything we need is over there. All we really need to do is put a few short little wires onto our Sonoff Mini so they're little fly leads so they can go off and connect into this terminal block here. So we could take our two short lengths of wire and connect them into the common live and common neutral terminals. These can then be terminated into the live and neutral terminals of our Sonoff Mini R4 to power it. The Sonoff Mini has two neutral connections, but they're both connected together internally, so we only really need to connect one. 
We can now connect the live input terminal. So this on-off mini is now connected to live and neutral. We now have to disconnect our switched live that comes from our three-way switches. Disconnect it from the terminal and then we have to put it into our S2 terminal of our Sonoff Mini R4. So now we need another short length of wire. This uh, short length of wire needs to connect to the terminal block that connects to the light bulb. This in turn will then connect to the output of the Sonoff Mini. So that's the live output terminal of the Sonoff Mini. Let's connect some power up to it and see if it works. So that's it all wired up now. Let's give it a test. So we can see that the three-way lighting works just fine. Let's try it with uh, Google Home. Turn on the Mini R4. Got it. Turning on MINI R4. Turn off. Mini R4. Got it. Turning off MINI R4. Well, there you go. It works great. Now, from here on forward, you could try and cram this all in underneath this cover. But I doubt that it would fit. It's a bit tight. But you can get a um, bigger ceiling rose cover. Um, the sort of cone shaped ones or dome shaped ones and that can easily cover this the other alternative is to put your um, mini r4 into a little uh, box and put it above the ceiling but uh, there are definitely options there to um, hide this away so i'd like to show you guys over in europe uh, this british form of doing um, three-way lighting and uh, I know you guys will be scratching your heads about it and it might be quite interesting for you. And uh, it's actually quite logical once you figure out why they did it this way. But let's take a look at the, the diagram because it'll make it easier to understand. But the gist of it is that you don't have to come in from, come in from one side with your live and switch live out on the other side. That's the main reason why um, I think it's so useful. If we compare the British three-way lighting circuit to the European version, you'll see they look distinctly different. Here the live supply enters the first switch in the chain and the switch live exits the last switch in the chain and then connects to the light bulb on the opposite side. With the UK version, you can have the live supply entering the first switch and the switch life can also exit from the first switch on the same side of the switch chain. This can be incredibly useful. It's actually possible to put the switch life out on either side of the switch chain. The reason the circuit is wired in this way is because in the UK they commonly use a type of multi-core cable called a twin and earth. In Europe mostly things are wired in conduit with single cables. When they use conduit in the UK, they use the same wiring method as the Europeans do. And this simpler way of wiring the three-way lighting uh, lends itself to conduit since you, can, since you have the freedom to decide where you want to run your cables. If you are using more than just two switches, you need uh, special intermediate switches in the middle. And what the intermediate switch does is it, it effectively changes polarity. So it crosses over the two lines. But it's necessary. You can put as many intermediate switches as you like. So, in conclusion, to Zigbee or not to Zigbee? That is the question. I've really just focused on the, um, the Wi-Fi only version that requires the uh, neutral connection. And um, I think this is because I've always steered away from Zigbee devices because I didn't really like the idea of having to use a Zigbee hub or a Zigbee bridge. But um, I'm sort of growing on the idea, especially since um, Sonoff devices will now work on um, uh, 
Amazon Echoes, the fourth generation, the ones that have built in Zigbee. So it has definite advantages, the Zigbee. So um, we'll make a future video about these two. Um, and of course, this has the advantage because it doesn't need a neutral. It can connect right behind any light switch that doesn't have a neutral connection, just the two, uh, the live supply in and the switch live out. You can go directly there and it should work seamlessly with that. But um, it, it's up to you really whether you need um, Wi-Fi only or you want a Zigbee version that uh, requires a hub or other uh, Zigbee device like the Amazon Echo that uh, can control it directly and you won't need a, a Zigbee bridge. So if you were to compare the previous um, Sonoff Mini to the new snazzy little uh, extreme version, the one that's really small, this is more versatile. Um, the S1 and S2 input are slightly different to the S1 and S2 input on the previous version. Here you had to connect a switch completely isolated from mains on the S1 and 2 inputs. Whereas with this one, you can either do that, you can have an isolated switch connected to it, or you can have a switch live coming from your light switch, just the switch live. Um, this switch live goes to the S2 terminal and that can then trigger this one. So that's quite versatile for different sort of inputs. Um, it's very useful. It reminds me a bit of the Shelly One that does the same thing. The Shelly One also only has that switched live input. But this has both options, which is much better. I like this a lot. It's going to be very useful in the future. But uh, yeah, two very exciting little devices from Sonoff. And I'm sure we will hear a lot more about them in the future to come. If you would like to try these devices for yourself, there's a link in the description and you can use my coupon code so you can get a 10% discount on your purchase at the checkout. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.